The current version of the Mazda MX-5 has been around since 2015, which should mean it should be getting a replacement. Well, instead of an all-new model, Mazda has given the MX-5 its biggest update ever since it was introduced. And as you can tell, it still almost looks the same. Let's have a look at to see if it is enough to keep this legendary vehicle alive. Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Cars and More. This is the number one place to be for car news and reviews. Sit back, buckle up, let's go. So, since 2015, Mazda has always done a few changes each year to keep the car fresh. For example, an engine change and mechanical changes. But really, this is the first time that the outside gets what I would say a proper upgrade from the old model. One of the big changes up front is a new set of LED adaptive headlights with a new design to the daytime running light. They also have a new LED indicator too. The grille has also got a very slight update as well as some new side vents giving this car a more sportier look and also an aggressive face. Moving around to the side and there are no changes apart from some new BBS alloy wheels. We do still get this swoopy design though and bulging rear wheel arches which I do quite like. Moving around to the back and we do get some design updates but they are very, very minimal. We get a new set of tail lights and they are now fully LED. The bumper is also slightly different with some new trim inserts too. Apart from that note, everything else on the outside is the same. Let's have a look to see what the inside is like. So climbing inside and there are some updates to be interested about. To start with we get the new Mazda infotainment system and this adds over the air updates as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You even now get USB-C ports. This infotainment system is very easy to use as it does have the infotainment knob in the centre console, like how it should be done. The instrument cluster also has had a slight update with some new font. Everything else though is the same and to be honest for a 9 year old interior design it does still feel quite modern which I do quite like. The dashboard only consists of 3 knobs for the climate control system, a speedometer, infotainment system and the air vents. The centre console consists of a proper gear stick, a proper manual handbrake as well as an armrest and the knob for the radio. Let's have a look at the boot. So, opening the boot in the MX-5 and there is no surprise that the size is the same before at 130 litres. This is fine for a weekend away and the roof doesn't affect the space which is good. You also get some storage within the car between the seats but there isn't any glove box which is the shame. Let's have a look at what mechanical upgrades there have been but let's also have a look at what engines you can have in this Mazda MX-5 facelift. So the mechanical upgrades for the MX-5 are quite significant this time around. You now get a track mode which alters the stability control system on some trim levels. There is also a new limited slip differential on manual cars too as well as a quick response to the electronic power assisted steering and there is also an improved throttle body response too. Finally, the best upgrade of all is that there is a better sounding exhaust. Right, let's talk engines. So, let's start with the base engine. This is a 1.5 litre petrol with 129 brake horsepower. This can do 0 to 62 in 8.3 seconds and it can be had with a 6 speed manual. The best part is though is that it is rear wheel drive. The next engine is the top of the range engine which is a 2 litre pe turbo petrol engine with 180 brake horsepower. This again can only be had with a 6 speed manual and rear wheel drive. In some other countries though, both engines may be able to be had with an automatic gearbox. Again, 0 to 62 is dealt within 6.5 seconds which is quite quick for a, such a small car like this. Both engines are quite efficient too at 42 miles per gallon which for both isn't that bad. The price of the new Mazda MX-5 starts at £28,000. So, the Mazda MX-5, 
Is it still as good as what it was back in 2015? Well, I definitely think so, and the improvements that have been made make it be even better. If you want a cheap, affordable and reliable 2 seat convertible, then this is the best one to go for. Even if you don't want a new one and you go for a used version, you still won't be disappointed. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.